In tonight's Health Watch, new hope for people with deadly pancreatic cancer. That's the cancer Alex Trebek is battling. Researchers in Pittsburgh are testing a promising new method to treat it by delivering high-dose chemo just to the tumor, sparing the rest of the body. Dr. Max Gomez explains. Darlene Basola was stunned last year when she learned she had pancreatic cancer. Shocking, because I've always been healthy. The mother of three, who's married to her high school sweetheart, decided to fight her cancer by volunteering for a clinical trial at the University of Pittsburgh Medical Center. When you're diagnosed with stage three, you want something to happen, you know, for the better. Before the trial, Darlene received the standard treatment of chemotherapy and radiation. Then in February, she began the first of eight experimental treatments where doctors thread a specialized catheter up into the area of the pancreatic tumor. A pair of small balloons isolate the blood supply to the tumor so that high-dose chemo can bathe just the cancer and spare the rest of the body. It's worked remarkably well on Darlene. Her tumor is moving away from the blood vessels and, and vital structures. We're absolutely not only pleased but amazed with her results at this point. Early results with other trial volunteers are also promising, especially since pancreatic cancer usually isn't diagnosed until it's late stage with a poor prognosis. We're seeing survival from 16 to 23 months and counting. And because the chemo doesn't circulate throughout the body, side effects are minimized. I have been feeling good my entire process. I haven't had any ill effects like nauseous. The only effect I've ever had is fatigue. Doctors are now expanding the clinical trial to 30 study sites around the country. It's not a cure, but patients say extending a life even a few months with good quality of life is worth volunteering for the study. Dr. Max Gomez, CBS 2 News.